The Eurofighter Typhoon isn't just a fighter jet, it's a statement. A machine that blends speed, agility and advanced technology like no other. But how does it truly compare to the giants of military aviation like the F-22 Raptor or the Su-57 Felon? Could it even be Europe's secret ace in the hole? <laughs> This isn't just about specs or stats, it's about the battles it's built to win and the pilots who rely on it. You're about to find out why this jet might just be the perfect combination of raw power and precision. Stay tuned, because we're diving deep into what makes it tick, the incredible engineering behind it, and why it's feared in the skies. Welcome back to the war. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a result of international collaboration, a project that united four countries, Germany, the UK, Italy and Spain in a shared vision to dominate the skies. But what exactly makes it so special? Let's break it down, starting with its origins. The Eurofighter Typhoon almost didn't happen. Back in the 1980s, Disagreements over design and strategy nearly derailed the project. Each nation wanted something different, a dogfighter, a multi-role jet or a long-range interceptor, but they eventually struck gold with a jet that could do it all. What's fascinating is that this jet isn't just a product of politics, it's a masterpiece of engineering. The Typhoon is equipped with a delta wing and canard design, giving it unmatched agility at high speeds. It's so manoeuvrable that pilots often describe it as an extension of themselves. Here's the thing. Why was the Typhoon built to prioritise agility over stealth? unlike the F-22 or Su-57. The answer lies in its primary mission. The Typhoon was designed during the Cold War, a time when the threat of fast, high altitude Soviet bombers loomed large. Stealth was less critical. Speed and manoeuvrability were everything. And to this day, it remains one of the fastest and most agile jets in the world, with a top speed of Mach 2. If you were designing a fighter, would you prioritise stealth or speed? Let us know your thoughts. And what about the Typhoon's firepower? This jet isn't just a defensive machine, it's a multi-role powerhouse. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground munitions, precision guided bombs. The integration of the Meteor missile, a weapon capable of hitting targets over 100 kilometers away, makes it one of the most lethal jets in the sky. Here's something you might not know. Typhoon can simultaneously engage up to 20 air targets and track 200 more using its advanced radar system. That kind of firepower and situational awareness makes it a deadly force in both offensive and defensive roles. It's also capable of carrying brimstone missiles, highly precision weapons designed for engaging fast moving ground targets like tanks and vehicles. This adds even more versatility, allowing the Typhoon to operate effectively in anti-armor missions. But here's where things get really interesting. How does the Typhoon hold up in real combat scenarios? Let's dive into a little known mission that proved its worth. In 
2011, during NATO's intervention in Libya, the Typhoon saw its first combat. Despite primarily designed for air superiority, it quickly adapted to ground attack missions, delivering precision strikes against Gaddafi's forces. This versatility shocked critics and solidified its reputation as a true multi-role fighter. And here's another surprising fact. During the Libya campaign, Typhoons flew 600 combat missions and maintained an exceptional 98% mission success rate, proving their reliability under pressure. And it wasn't just about striking targets. Typhoons provided critical airborne reconnaissance, feeding vital intelligence back to NATO's forces on the ground. This highlights the jet's ability to multitask in high stakes combat scenarios. But the Typhoon's most daring missions might still be classified. What do you think it's been up to recently? Drop your theories in the comments. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Can the Typhoon compete with fifth generation jets? at the F-35 or Su-57. On paper, it lacks stealth, which is a major disadvantage in modern warfare. But here's the twist. The Typhoon was built to integrate seamlessly with stealth aircraft, complementing their abilities rather than replacing them. It's often paired with the F-35 in joint operations where the Typhoon uses its superior speed and agility to handle air dominance, while the F-35 takes on stealth missions. Together, they form a deadly combination. But what if Europe didn't have the F-35? Could the Typhoon alone defend European airspace? Stick around as we explore this question later in the video. Now let's talk about the technology behind the Typhoon. The jet's radar system, Captor E, Acer Radar, is one of the most advanced in the world. It can track multiple targets simultaneously, even in the most challenging environments. And its electronic warfare capabilities, they're nothing short of cutting edge. But here's something even more impressive. The Typhoon is equipped with pirate infrared search and track, a passive sensor system that allows it to detect enemy aircraft at long range without giving away its own position. This is a game changer in engagements against stealth fighters. The Typhoon's cockpit is also designed to give pilots an edge. Its helmet mounted display system allows pilots to aim weapons simply by looking at the target. It's like having a heads-up display straight out of a video game, but in real life. But here's a question. How does the Eurofighter's tech stack up against the Raptor's legendary systems? Many argue that the Typhoon's modular design gives it a unique advantage. It can be upgraded more easily to adapt to future threats. Let's talk about the future of the Eurofighter Typhoon. With programs like Tempest on the Horizon, a sixth generation fighter being developed by the UK, many wonder if the Typhoon's days are numbered. But here's the reality. The Typhoon isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Upgraded versions are already in development with enhanced radar, weapon systems and stealth features. In fact, it's set to remain the backbone of European Air Forces well into the 2040s. So could the Typhoon defend European airspace on its own? Yes, but only if its pilots use its speed, agility and electronic warfare systems to their full potential. In a world without the F-35, the Typhoon would become the centrepiece of a multi-layered defence strategy, proving that while it thrives in partnership, it's far from helpless on its own. So what do you think? Would the Typhoon alone safeguard Europe's skies 
or does it need the F-35 to truly dominate? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Something else to think about. Will the Typhoon's upgrade be enough to keep it relevant in the age of drones and hypersonic missiles? Only time will tell. The Eurofighter Typhoon isn't just a fighter jet, it's a testament of European engineering and innovation. It's a machine born from compromise, perfected through collaboration and proven in combat. Now it's your turn. Do you think the Eurofighter Typhoon is Europe's greatest fighter jet, or does it fall short of its competitors? Hi soldiers, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to check back in again soon. That's an order.